This video blog is brought to you by three ties and a shirt. Well, it's also brought to you by these pair of pants, but it doesn't sound quite as catchy. Three ties and a shirt and a pair of pants. Anywho, what I want to show you is how that shirt and that pair of pants go with all three ties. But those aren't the only actors in this video blog. We're going to have some old characters, namely this shirt, this very colorful shirt, and this shirt, along with these old navy blue slacks and these fairly recent gray slacks. What I want to show you is how keeping the foreground, i.e. the tie, the same, and changing the background, i.e. the shirt and pants, gives you a totally different outfit, a totally different look, and a totally different feel. This is going to be really awesome, so stick around. So for our first outfit, we have this brand new Arrow button-down shirt from 315 for $5. Also from 315, we have this Sean Jean classic tie, 250, and then these gray slacks from my last video blog. And for each outfit, we're going to top it off with a non-thrifty fedora like a little cherry. For the second outfit, we still have the Arrow button-down shirt, but we have this brand new checkered tie. It's a Perry Ellis portfolio tie, only $2.50 at $3.15. We have a different pair of pants on. They're a medium blue, almost a periwinkle, Banana Republic pants from the North Syracuse Thrifty Shopper for only $5.99. And another non-thrifty fedora to top it all off. And now for the third tie, it's a very classy blue Claybrook tie from 315 for only $2.50. We still have the same white arrow button down shirt and these Flex Slacks 2 navy blue, an old pair for only $4.16 and a different fedora to top it all off. Ah, but we're not done yet. Now it's time to see what these three ties look like with the other three shirts.